Hello and welcome back to City Skylines 2 everyone where we are building the sort of realistic North American themed metropolitan area of Riverview. In the most recent episode we worked on some general expansions to the metro area. Uh, first up was a revamp of the historic inner city neighborhood of Bedford Gardens. We just renamed it Bedford for simplicity. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the road layout that we ended up with here. The grid we've got on this very, very tight and narrow uh, historic row house district is at a bit of a different angle than much of the rest of the city, uh, which I really like. We also added a bit of park landscape in here and an actual park, uh, creatively named Triangle Park. The biggest change of the episode though was that we took the town of Chestnut which had its small older cinder here and pretty much turned it into a fully fledged city by adding a uh, kind of fake marina uh, and an actual new downtown full of row houses and services and uh, lots of complex infrastructure to connect up as well. In today's episode we'll be implementing something that you guys have suggested. 500 times is probably a conservative estimate uh, and that's an airport which we're going to implement here in the southern part of the metro area uh, which is going to be really exciting but also quite kind of tricky because it's going to require pretty extensive infrastructure projects so that we can support all the upcoming traffic to and from the airport and i'm also hopeful that we can add the cargo extension to the airport so we can also have cargo rail before we do anything though, here's a friendly reminder to like this video if you enjoy my content. And if you don't want to miss out on future content, consider subscribing. Uh, most of my viewers aren't subscribed, so maybe you've just forgotten to. Thanks in advance. Alright, so building an airport. Obviously the first thing we need to do is designate a location because they are usually quite big. And there are often geographical features that uh, kind of limit where they can be placed. Um, the issue with this map, of course, is that we've got imposing uh, mountain ranges on just about all sides, which is limiting the expanse of the city, but of course also the placement of our airport. Uh, I do think this uh, southern peninsula here is uh, probably the best spot, uh, but we're actually going to have to demolish Ravenwood Gardens and make some more space because as we zoom in, uh, you'll probably notice that it's very very steep there's quite a substantial height difference uh, on this map uh, and the river in particular drops a lot as we approach this uh, southern part of it so i'm gonna i'm gonna demolish this this neighborhood here just to make some more space and then we're gonna try and angle the air, uh, airport in this area all right cool so um, after having rather casually displaced about 1500 people from the already shrinking American middle class, we can uh, start smoothing out this terrain a bit. Uh, I'm going to align the height to some level that's around here and then just kind of smooth it so that we can place our uh, airport. So uh, let's jump into our progression tab and actually unlock the airport we'll be using. And as you guys know, I like to just keep my progression points around until I actually need them. So I'm only going to unlock the regular airport because I am not a fan of the international airport in this game. For one, it's it's huge and that wouldn't be a problem if the shape was a bit different but i'm really not a fan of this very square uh, uh footprint it has because it just makes it it's almost impossible to place it on this map without me having to do major revamps either to the geography or the existing city uh, and i really don't like the look the actual design of the airport so we are going to just pick the uh, the regular one fortunately for us the regular airport also has a much improved scale compared to city skylines one uh, as you guys can probably see as we zoom out it is it's actually a massive asset which is uh, pretty cool now i'm planning to have a cargo train connection to the airport passenger train connection to the airport as well uh, for commuters and tourists um, highway connection of course uh, that's a necessity road connection is required uh, and also uh, probably also tram connections so i'm gonna have to think my placement of this bad boy through 
because I want it to be relatively close to the city outskirts because if we move further south we get some real issues with the terrain but I also need space in front of the airport and between this uh, rail line here to actually fit in all this infrastructure that I'm planning. Uh, so I'm hopeful that if we place it uh, somewhere around here, uh, then that is going to leave us just enough space to create all the infrastructure we want uh, while also not having too many terrain issues and it actually seems that the terraforming we did just before was just about sufficient to actually ensure that we don't have any weird clipping or very sharp edges uh there's ah uh, there's a bit over here but yeah i never never i never get it right like real right the first time that's like a that's a trademark by now i guess <laughs> but uh, now it's looking nice all right so i have actually just moved the airport a bit further away from the city limits uh, because as we add the cargo terminal we might as well just add it now uh, we need a bit of space to kind of hook up the the necessary infrastructure here and connect with the existing railway infrastructure and uh, i'm no expert on trains you guys know that but i'm i'm thinking we need a pretty smooth curve here for the freight trains I'm going to create like a very, very basic uh, loop with our, uh, what's it called, three lane one way road. I don't know why that was so hard. Uh, and create a bit of a distance using like maybe this type of parking lot at least in between. I like this smaller one for the airport because it's fenced and has, you know, uh, some, uh, some gate structure and stuff, which I think is pretty realistic for an airport. I'm hopeful I might also be able to squeeze in like a, a small plaza maybe here in the in in front of the airport can we do like uh, a symmetrical thing with a park or two or hmm I'll add one here I'll try to add one here yeah it's pretty good um, <laughs> let's just add the other segment of this stretch of road and of course, I'll have to go up a bit due to the plaza here. There you go. And I'll just make sure to align this and of course upgrade it. So it's in the proper direction. Gonna use the continuous road tool here to create the super easy curve. And I think in hindsight, these two parks are perhaps just a little odd. You place hotel buildings and parking lots here instead probably i'm gonna keep the plaza though because i do think it's a pretty nice addition to the entrance and i'm thinking we're gonna place the train station right opposite the plaza so we're just gonna have to make a bit of room uh, removing some of the existing infrastructure here uh, and then probably probably a good idea to just try and uh, smoothen the train uh, just a bit at least do, 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 do. and imminent imminent domain these poor people hello goodbye so we'll go and grab our train station uh, let's see i'm looking forward to seeing some smaller train stations preferably like through um, the yeah i was about to say steam workshop but that's a bit of a tough issue right um the paradox mods i meant uh hoping to see some smaller train stations uh, because i do feel that this one has a few, a few more tracks than needed uh a bit sad that they didn't just make it smaller per default and then allowed us to just add the extra tracks we can but i mean it's too big uh to start off with i guess is, is the point i'm trying to make um I wanted I want to have Madison Street kind of run parallel to the uh to the to the train here or the train station. Uh so I'm hopeful that's gonna uh yeah, like we talked about, maybe we'll have uh, a bit of extra high development down here near the airport. I think that would make good sense. Uh so we're gonna go ahead and do a little more demolishing because I want the trams to connect up to the airport as well. Uh, we're gonna grab our slope terrain right click up here and then try and create uh, a better slope and here i'm gonna try and just smoothen it out a bit and we'll remove this farm because this is uh, we'll remove this farm as well i 
I'm probably just gonna fill this up with more suburban sprawl so that we move the um, the rural, the countryside stuff a bit further away from the city uh, because we are gonna do some general city expansions in this episode as well just to, to grow the city. Uh, just quickly gonna connect up the train station, I think. We've got our train infrastructure starting to take shape. And I think rather than just having Madison Street kind of connect directly to this Alyssa Street, I'd rather just have it kind of shoot into Alyssa Street as like an off branch. Uh, I think I am just going to, I'm going to grab this uh, avenue here and we're just going to continue it actually along the train line here. And then I'd rather connect it uh, up down here where we've got a bit of a an intersection let's see if we can just uh yeah it's gonna be a bit tricky why is that is that because there's uh, an additional small segment here that i should upgrade first something like this maybe and then yeah it's gonna work very nice we're gonna do like this and just curve it together enable snapping so we get the guidelines overlapping items uh what oh some oh look at this turbo node no thank you <laughs> there you go much better and we're just gonna continue uh Alyssa street or whatever yeah whatever the name was and then we can grab Madison Street and create like a sharp angle to uh, intersect. Uh, let's see, we'll just do uh, 180 degrees, I think, something like this. And then I'm just going to put some more uh, complex roads in place and we'll, we'll edit this up and make it look nice. Oh, now it's just gonna look like this right so an issue i'm seeing is that Alyssa street uh, sort of terminates kind of abruptly uh, and we've got main street here which is the main street of the city <laughs> one of the more uh, high traffic volume streets of, uh, of riverview uh, and the connection here is a little is a little odd so i am going to see if i can sort of let's see if we can like add some extra complexity of course to this whole area here this whole this whole junction here uh because we like overly complex infrastructure it's fun to look at it's fun to build uh makes us scratch our heads but that's all right that's kind of the point i guess and it's pretty realistic real life city planners have made some very interesting choices throughout the years uh so uh, speaking of interesting choices, let's get a proper connection to a main street. As such, we'll of course remove this little road here. And is that what we want? I'll just upgrade this and then we'll just assess the situation. We we'll probably need to upgrade this to uh, a four lane road as well for it to make sense and i can see it's at an off angle with main street so we're gonna disable snapping so that we can align it perfectly as such and we'll probably need to upgrade this we'll make this a four laner bring in then a ramp here maybe Oh man, this is an absolute mess. I love it. We'll have to connect this loop up with uh, what is now King Street all of a sudden. All right, <laughs> and Madison Street. And I'm thinking we're going to need a bridge of some sort. So maybe I'm going to have to revise this and see if I can do something cool here. I'm going to see if I can uh, stretch the... 
powers of uh, the rogue tools here in City Skylines 2 just a bit. Uh, as I'm going to try something here. And I'm not sure how it's actually going to work, but um, there's only one real way of finding out. So I think if I go seven and a half above, is that going to take me to the promised land? It actually is. But for some reason, the 180 snapping won't work. But if we disable snapping, maybe we can just about get it to work. Just about. We'll have to connect up and this is going to be an interesting move because I'm a little, oh, that's wrong. I'm a little curious about the actual slope here. I'm a little worried that it might be too steep to actually connect up here. 8%, that's actually fine. It's not too bad. I mean, at least if it's gonna... Uh, is that gonna be tricky? Let's do it in reverse then. That's usually a little easier when trying to do this. We'll go for this and then we'll up... Uh, we'll just change the direction and see how that looks. And now we just need to connect Madison Street to King Street. Uh, connecting one mess to the other... And I'm thinking we're going to have to disable some snapping here and going for some uh, some highways. And then hopefully I can sort of seamlessly integrate these ramps to Madison Street as such. Then enable some snapping and let's just connect this up and we'll have a ramp here as well. As such, we'll need to, of course, connect up to King Street down here, and can I, with a bit of cheekiness, connect to this junction here underneath? It seems I can. So that's awesome. We're gonna remove a bunch of crossings uh, at one. No, 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 no. Just remove all these. We don't want them, and we'll remove some stoplights from this inner junction at the very least. Cool, that looks all right. And I'm just revamping this. We actually want the stoplights here, but not here and no crossing here as well, because this is just uh, on and off ramps basically. But we'd like some crossings here instead, as that is the, the actual drunk junction in here. And I think with this monstrosity in place, we are also going to add a connection underneath the elevated rail segment here. And we'll probably need to branch out from this junction between the Evergreen Highway and King Street uh, just to ensure easy access. So I'm going to go for a... Let's just go for this four laner as a start. Yoink. And I'm going to create a four lane divided road with the median uh, here because I want... Uh, I want some office stuff to be placed alongside the airport, some zonable office. Um, hopefully it can look like, uh, you know, different types of uh, high-tech stuff or industries that are related to the uh, to the function of the airport or, or otherwise have a good reason to be located out here. Yeah, I'm not having... I don't have the... Okay, we'll just go straight here and then we'll just make a connection. Probably the easiest thing we can do. And with an on-ramp, we can drop this to a free laner. Make it a little more interesting as such. Of course, going to remove some of all this stuff. Don't want, I don't want you to be able to turn left. And I don't want you to be able to turn right here, of course. All right. Uh, yeah, my idea is to have some low density office mainly uh, around this area uh, with the purpose that I just talked about. We're of course gonna connect Spring Street up to our loop. And I think for starters, I'm just gonna grab the, uh, the, the regular two lane roads and see if I can cut into this seamlessly or without too much trouble at least. 
yeah that's uh definitely feel that's better and i'm guessing that the crossing and the lights here is actually fine because we're gonna have parking lots on this side so we're even gonna have a few more crossings uh, now i am going to violate some uh, uh, lane maths here unfortunately but i hope you guys uh, can follow my logic at least because i want to downgrade this to the uh, two lane one way roads uh, because it's going to allow me to oh i'm gonna reduce this to a one laner of course it's gonna allow me to add some planters some grass on um on either side of these uh, which i think with some trees is gonna look very very nice when uh, when the trees grow in about 500 years it's gonna look very nice and I'm also going to add a planter to the center, central median here in Beechwood Street uh, because the low density offices will be building here. We'll have dedicated parking lots, so there's, there's no use for street side parking. Uh, that's actually just gonna like block the parking entrance to uh, some of the offices. And speaking of blocking some parking entrance, I don't want the median on this side of the road right here where we've got one of the entrances, one of two entrances, I think, to the uh, train station parking. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create some small sub segments, basically, of road here. So I'm just going to create uh, a small segment here as well as over here. Let's see. Something like this, because then we can jump in and we can say... We actually don't want a median and we don't want any trees uh, either. Or actually we want the wide sidewalk because we don't want cars to park here. That's uh, that's what we want. Go ahead and do the very same over here and just remove the trees. And then we can remove the small new stretches. And then we can go and add in the planters and the trees to the opposite side. Uh, I think this is a cool way of making it look a little more tailored to the actual buildings we have here. Next up, it's all about parking. And I've kind of decided not to use the small one, but instead use the next biggest one, this medium parking lot, because it's just a nice overall look. And while it doesn't have the fences, uh, it does have these uh, very big uh, lamps, as well as lots of EV uh, parking spaces which i think is pretty fitting for an airport so i think this is uh, just overall a better look than using the small parking lot i would also very much like to use the overground parking building uh, and i think i'm just gonna place it freely Yeah, I'll just have to zoom out in a bit, see how this actually looks. I think it looks alright. I think it looks alright. We could even... If we want to customize this a little more, or rather make it a little more complex, then we can of course do that. And since we're doing so much for the sake of complexity, uh, I'm just going to try this out at least. So I'm going to create a one laner here and then we're going to upgrade this as well to uh, one lane. And we've got a bit of a split here. So you can actually bypass this uh, parking facility if that's not your actual destination. Maybe you just need to make a loop because you're leaving or because you're, you've, you've booked a parking spot here maybe. Something like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, am I actually... I'm gonna remove these crosswalks at least. And probably these as well. But I think these can stay. Especially if we add a path in between. We can add paths here at least. Because uh, we're gonna need a few of those, I think. At least on either side of the plaza. And we'll create some here as well, just to connect up the parking lots. I think that looks a little better. And we'll add some pathways here as well. And I think it's fitting if we create a, a couple of proper pedestrian crossings here. So we'll create one here. And then we're going to move over a bit. And we'll create an additional one here. And 
Actually, let's just create an additional one. And I think I'm actually gonna place some traffic lights here. To prioritize uh, people being able to easily enter and exit the, uh, the airport. And I guess, I mean, in real life, the speed limit for this loop would be pretty low to, uh, to make sure we don't have any accidents. Now, retrofitting trams in here is going to be a little uh, tricky because they can't have crossings with uh, normal rail lines at grade, at least. So they'll have to either go underneath or be elevated. And I don't really see we've got any space here. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to uh, get some tram network access through Evergreen Highway here, which we're probably going to bump to a an actual avenue then. Um, and then connect it up to Madison Street so that the, the tram network actually uh, turns uh, east here, continues down this new avenue, uh, uh, goes underneath the railway, the elevated section here, then cuts through the office park we're gonna build here, uh, allowing for easy access to all these jobs. And then it actually loops around uh, and I guess we can have a stop at the train station as well as right in front of the airport. So I think I'm going to try that and we'll see how it looks. Uh, quite extensive changes we're doing, uh, but I think that's all right. It's uh, interesting to change up some some older areas that we haven't touched in, uh, in quite a while. So for starters, I'm just going to try and upgrade. Oh, this, this one has a bit of an odd angle, so I'll maybe just draw this. Uh, manually instead see, you know, see if I can get a bit of an angle as well something like this maybe all right uh, and then we're gonna see if we can map out the tram network so I think the cool part here is going to be having the tram lane here follow the loop uh, so we'll go for this uh, one way section let's see if, it, if this is gonna work it looks like it's gonna work just fine. So this is definitely gonna be a bit of an interesting solution and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, just how much usage the tram line is gonna get when we move out here. So I think we are of course gonna take this uh, shortcut here because there's no need for the tram line to actually interact in any way with this uh, parking facility here. Um, but the curve here is, it is a little crazy. I'm going to be cheeky and see if I can actually make this curve a little smoother. By just dragging out. So apparently this will work. Ah, that is that is a little better actually. I like that. So uh, I guess that was worth it. And we'll add additional segments here of course make sure everything is upgraded and we've got our loop now of course we need to actually connect up with this avenue here and just connect up here as well and i'm just gonna go in and check if the curves are smooth enough and i i think they are it's not perfect and the tram is probably gonna look a little funkier as it passes through but um, i think it's fine and let's see if this is actually the type of road I want. And a proper connection here to Madison Street, uh, which also means we can, of course, remove the tram segments. Of course, I'm going to map out some new stops and I guess uh, an additional stop here in the eastern portion of Elizabeth Street isn't a bad idea. So somewhere down here. And then we'll have maybe a bit of commercial development or something. Uh, then we'll get ourselves a stop um, here in the center of this avenue that's going to cover the office zone. We'll add a stop pretty much in front of the train station. And we'll add a stop pretty much in front of the... Oh wait, we've got entrance to parking here, so... Somewhere alongside here. So coming right up is a time-lapse segment with some sweet tunes so that we can develop this area. But just before we do that, let's connect up our new transport lines so that we can start seeing uh, some of this being utilized. 
So we've got the blue line here uh, of the um, the RTA, the Riverview Transit Authority, which we are of course going to drag out and map to the new, uh, let's say, new stops we've placed down. We're going to pass through the office area here and we'll create the loop, just assign a few more stops. We've also got the, uh, I think we call this the river line actually. This train line here, let's see. We've got the RTA river line here and we're gonna assign that stops here as well. So that we've got a stop in here and on the other side. There we go, that connects it all up pretty well. So I'm hopeful that we'll see lots of activity out here, of course, uh, at least as the airport starts working. Going to upgrade with a business lounge, uh, as well as this airport services upgrade, which just adds 30 comfort, which is kind of vague. I don't really know what that means, but okay. Not vague at all. Everybody loved that. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing some planes depart and, uh, and land here so we can get some activity. But yeah, let's jump into the time lapse. Um, this segment of the city is going to need a bit of a revamp to look nice. So uh, let's get going.
I just love the amount of activity we are seeing out here. But then again, if I do pick up the uh, route map, we can get insights into just how much is going on here. So obviously we've got the tram line covering it. We've got a train line cook, uh, hooking it up. We've got a taxi depot with electric taxis as well. We've got five um, passenger uh, air routes. We've got two cargo air routes. With, we've got two uh, freight routes connected by train to the to two outside connections up here. So one of the freight routes also cross through the Port of Riverview as well. Uh, just a ton of stuff going on, which is uh, pretty cool. And as for the overall area we have developed, it's uh, very much just a mix of a bunch of stuff. I took the chance to add in a bunch of public housing out here because I do feel we miss some of that. And I'm trying to just make Riverview uh, an overall more build up place. And the population is soaring towards 55,000, which is really cool added all this office stuff as we discussed and i've decided to actually include uh, these uh, businesses here in the riverport uh, sorry the riverview airport district because the idea here is of course that uh, all these companies or most of them at least uh, develop something that is associated with like the airport industry in one way or another uh, so that's why i kind of wanted to include everything so that we can see that we've got about 700 jobs related to the airport which is uh, pretty cool also added some pathways uh, crossing the train lines here to ensure uh, easy access from the small commercial core and then the airport and of course the train station as well because you actually have to enter the train station over here uh, but it's very cool to see that it even looks like people are switching between the train and tram um to reach whatever destination they they need and we've got so many people out here anyways something i need you guys help on uh airports usually have some kind of they have some designated letters as uh, a signal code or whatever you call it uh, so i would like some suggestions for what we're actually gonna call riverview airport and what those letters would be uh, because this is obviously uh, a true hallmark of my creativity so if you're an airport nerd, and there has to be some of you out there, <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think this airport should be named, as well as the, the code for it. <laughs> and I should probably wrap up this video by now before I just start rambling. Uh, I just want to thank all of you for the amazing support. It's This is a fantastic journey, and I wish I could upload a little more frequently, but I'm busy with work, and I've got a bunch of other stuff going on privately, so that kind of just has to take top priority uh, and i try to squeeze in as many hours creating content on this as i can and the episodes do take quite a, a long time to uh, to create um but yeah thank you all for the support and for watching of course um, i'm gonna do my best to uh, shoot some nice cinematics for you all uh, and i hope to see you in the next one bye